All right, Shalom. I'm going to start by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto you. How about Shema, Shah, by Shema, Kakodash, Devon, and the Apostle, and others, a great millstone. Shalom to all the document that pushing the word of sincerity and in truth. Yeah, I just want to do a lesson on these, um, you know, the creations of the Lord, the animals. Which the word animal, when you look it up, it goes into uh, anim animal, I think animalis, or, uh, but you have even the term anime, which basically goes into the spirit, you know, spirits that's, uh, you know, that has breath. You know, because what these were created with the mo through the most high, you know, to actually um exist, coexist with man. And they go into the uh creature when you read the book of Genesis to talk about the creatures. The creatures um are creations of the most high and, and man is likened unto an animal. you know, that's why even in Esau's science technology, you know, or or more so in his science, you know, he um uh, classifies humans as uh you know animals so to speak you know they'll put us in that and they'll say you know esau will say that um we evolved over time and you know humans are, are apes which is all bullshit that's that falsely science so-called but the truth is you know we are all um creatures under yah by shimau <laughs> and these different animals you see whether aquatic land aerial animals they all have a, a major pur purpose um, you know, whether to clean up the environment, you have bottom feeders, you have all these different types of an uh, animals that play different worlds in the, roles in the ecosystem. But you're going to have these different animals that's actually going to come out and play and tear Esau ass up in these days. It tells you that in the book of Sirach, how you have teeth of wild beasts that's, um, you know, used to punish the wicked. You know, you see this this supersized alligator right here. I was just not watching the video. He was talking about this prehistoric gator. And, you know, you, 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 little, a couple of these animals right here are prehistoric. You know, you have the woolly mammoth and um, some type of bottom feeder and this supersized alligator. Hey, but I wanted to put this out, you know, through the spirit because it's a lot of animals too. That Esau will say, you know, is a prehistoric or they don't know where they're, they're located and this, that, and the other. And they don't really know if these animals are actually, you know, so and so uh, have any type of existence into uh, today's time. You know, they'll say they don't exist, but Esau hasn't searched the whole, you know, galaxy, so to speak. You know, he hasn't searched the whole world. He doesn't know really what's out there. He only has a percentage of uh, understanding. The scripture speak about how the Lord has bound this man. You know, bound to the point we can't reach, especially dealing with the water. You know, like I said, these animals are going to come out and play very, very soon. They're going to be attacking mainly these devils, man. All right. Because it was the time where the Israelites and dealing with our forefathers in their time, they ruled over these uh, vicious, ferocious animals. And the Lord is going to raise Genesis up Genesis 9, same spirit and God blessed Noah and his old. sons, and, and said and told them, Be fruitful and multiply, animals. and replenish the earth, and the, and the fear of you, Noah, and the dread of you shall be upon you every beast of the earth, and upon you every fowl of the air, upon all that move upon the earth, and upon all the fishes of the sea, into your hand are they daily heard. You are a mowing thing that live, shall meet for you, you and as the green herd ha I jilin you all things, but flesh with the life thereof, which is the blood thereof, shall you not eat, and surely your blood of your limbs will I require, at the hand of you are beast will I... Yeah, that's that's the power of Yahweh Shem al you know, he put the spirit on those Noah, you know, mainly, especially in this passage, you know, to um rule over the beasts of the earth. You know, he could command lions. He could command. That's why when he was, uh, when when the earth flooded, you had Noah let out a, a, a raven, if I'm not mistaken. You know, and that raven came back basically to make report to Noah. You know, just like you'll see these different, um, these different movies where they'll let an animal, like a bird out, and a bird will, uh, drop something off, and it'll come back. Those men used to have that power. It's a lost art now. And now we have what? Shipping through USPS. You know, whether you're shipping, uh, getting part of shipped, or you have, you know, shipping centers. Shipping centers and, and, and individuals at UPS, United Postal Service, you know, all these different, different FedEx. 
you know, all these different shipping companies, but the most high actually had animals that actually had a role that was designed for the service of man. You know? And the Lord, like I said, is is angry and furious and he's gonna use these these animals to fuck you devils up, man. I'm just saying it plain and simple. Cause you really had a part in really killing off the ecosystem and killing off majority of these animals. So they want a piece of your ass. You know? They wanna bite whitey, man. And if you think about it, the reason why the world is in the condition that it's in is because of the white men of the other nations. It's not because of you blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. You have no rule, you know? You're the one that's actually being oppressed within this kingdom. This is uh, Sirach 39 and 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes in the time of the destruction they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them right you'll hear about animal people that die from animals whether it's shark bites you know um being stung to death by bees um the list goes on bitten by snakes rattlesnakes and things of that nature you know killed by grizzlies remember this one lady got her whole face yanked off off of her for uh you know, actually playing with this uh, a chimpanzee. Chimpanzee literally ripped the woman's face off, man. So these animals don't play. And they all, what, when you watch these different animal uh, documentaries, when I was a child, I used to watch a lot of animal uh, content. And you'll see, basically, these animals have a level of spiritual power, man. And that's how you know it's a power in the heavens. And that power is supposed to be possessed within man, which is all through the spirits and breaths of the Most High. And they're the images of the um uh, you know the spirit of the lord and we're supposed to possess that because what the animals are subject unto us like they told you in the top uh book of genesis man you watch that on that uh movie with uh jamie fox dealing with the pills i forget the name of it i watched it um you know a couple weeks after it actually came out and he was talking about the pistol shrimp it's one of the strongest uh animals which the pistol shrimp is a badass animal well, not necessarily, you know, it's an animal spirit on the most side, but it's uh, classified as a crustacean. You know, it's a shrimp, you know, and these different animals, all of them have a function on the earth. And that's why, like I said, these animals are pissed off with this devil. And when this devil is taken out, this world will, will go get back at ease, man. Proverbs 29 and 2, Isaiah the 14th chapter, you know. It says, fire and hell and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. Right, and the world is treating itself that way, you know, like self-destruction. The world is going through it because these devils are in rulership. Now you see these avalanches. That's why the Lord said all this thing. Earth and Earth is going to shake in diverse places, going to wheel to and fro, which that's really going to the missiles, but it speaks about, you know, disasters. Acts the second chapter. All these things are going to occur, you know, when this white man is in rulership, which he's the end of the um, end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. All right. These were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts. Yeah, these beasts that are earthed at the most high has predators. You know, or it might be birds that are peck your ass to death. These devils are going to get, these animals are going to get their, their hands on you devils. And scorpions. And you mainly you watch these different shows and see people get fucked up by animals. Excuse my French. And they be white people, man. Because they like to venture off and be in all these different areas. That they have no place in belonging. They're prohibited. And these animals do a show through that they're, they're territorial. And then Esau will equip with guns and they'll actually raid whether it's forest, forest or they'll raid lakes, you know, and they'll actually tow tag these animals. See, he's the devil. That's what I scripture speak about. He keeps not home, man. He got a, he, as a righteous man, you understand what parts of the world are, you know, you own and which things that's actually ordained by other, you know, the Lord to. Give other, whether it's animals or or people their residences, but this devil doesn't play by the rules. He plays by his own rules, which are the rules of no rules, lawlessness. It says scorpions, serpents, and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. Yeah, and it's a great punishment through the uh, spirit and the power of the Lord. And like I said, whether it's going to be punishment through the actual gun, you know, people getting shot dead. It tells you that also in um, Jeremiah 15. He said, where shall we go? Such as our pointing to death on the death, you know, life on the life, you know, and the Lord said, I will point over them 
fourth cons, and he spoke about the teeth of them beasts, man. So the Lord is going to use these animals to break. Hey, the Lord might open, literally open a lot of these different zoos for these different animals to go out and run rampant because they're being oppressed, man. They're feeling the oppression just as heavily as we are. Now they're not going to get delivered from this captivity. You know, America's going to burn and we ain't taking no damn, you know, white lions and fucking um, seals and shit. You know, like the time of Noah, it ain't going to be like that. We actually taking all these different animals in a chariot. You know, only thing through the spirit we would take is ourselves, which we can't even take ourselves. It's going to be a deliverance through the Lord. You know, like I said, these different animals are pissed. But I'm going to keep going. The sword pleasing the wicked to destruction. Right. So these animals want to destroy you devils. And you Jake's got to get in that mentality of destroying this man. Because what? Scripture says destroy him that destroyed the earth. And that's the wisest thing to do. If this man isn't destroyed, then all these different animals will be destroyed, will be destroyed. The world itself will be destroyed. So somebody has to get taken out. And it has to be you devil. So I want anybody giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yah, Bashamah, Shah, Bashamah, Gargulash. Double on the silver possum under the great millstone. Shalom.